Go. Hey, Craig. Um, it's me, Howard. Um, I've got my makeup on here now, so I am ready to give you this presentation on your display unit. So here we go. I'm going to take you through the changes that we made. Um, and let's first start with the structure itself in the front of the unit. Um, as you know, we've uh, made changes per the rendering that we sent you to bring this center section out um, uh, deeper uh, so that we could, we could rest this unit on a 55 inch tall gondola and not have glare to your monitor. And that's what we've done here and this unit represents that. Um, the uh, uh, overall structure is pretty much as we've rendered it. Uh, this unit in terms of dimensions is approximately three quarters of an inch is it three quarters of an inch deeper? Three quarters of an inch deeper and maybe a quarter of an inch taller than the existing unit. Um, the uh, unit really turned out very, very nicely considering um, we had to make some, some um, quick changes and find a solution. And I think this does a really nice job for you. Uh, the other changes and, and accommodations that we made, little revisions, I'm going to show you are based on our conversation when you were here at the office. So one of the um, tweaks that we made is we cut this little hole out here for access to the sensor on the monitor so that when you do uh, use the remote on this unit, you don't have to get so close to it. In fact, I'm going to show you now with this remote. Um, and look how far back I'm going. That's one, two, three, four feet back from the unit. It's on mute right now. I'm going to turn this on. And it works like a dream. And you'll see the volume is automatically set to the 30 level that you requested. Hold on, show him. Okay. So you'll you see it. that it is set to the level of 30 on the volume. Okay. Okay. So that is the volume uh, um, level that we'll be uh, adjusting in our assembly. Um, the wedges on this unit, right now, um, we brought these out just ever so slightly. Oh, I don't know, maybe about a half an inch or so um, beyond where they were before so that um, they come forward a little bit and the unit looks a little less bulky and really it has a great look right now. Now the other possibility and it's just a possibility at this point and I'm not sure we will do this or, or can do this but if in the eight camera configuration if the cowl on the back of the camera is all the way back then we may have maybe another half inch, three quarters of an inch to bring that out, but we would have to check the sheet and see if we have the plastic and if in fact that's something you want to do, it might be something we could look into. Um, if the cowl is going to be out on these, which I don't think you want, uh, then we would keep it where it's at. And that's something we could discuss tomorrow. Uh, Let's move it along, my battery's dying. The back of the unit, Craig, um, is, as you see it here, this hole is cut out for the remote. So I'm going to show you how we've made some of the other little tweaks on this. And Mike, can you grab me that remote, please, so I can show Craig where it's going to rest? Oh, my dandy assistant is always ready and able. Okay, so this is where the remote will be sitting. Now, we think it's the best place because it just has a little home to rest here. This section will be up a little bit higher, so we have this at a little bit more of an angle. Uh, but instead of um, uh, Velcroing it to the side where it's actually very cumbersome to get at and put in and take out, this is a kind of a nice little home for the remote. As far as the um, on-off switch is concerned for the monitor, we put a small red dot next to that on switch as requested so that they can see that if they ever need to um, have access to that. Any 
cord or wire that is not a lock or snap fit um, will take electrical tape like I'm showing you here with the camera wires. So all of these male female wires will have electrical tape on it as you see right here. The main uh, cord from the um, power strip also will have a little cutout in the base as a little resting spot so that that just rests right there. There's a nice little locator for it and that will, um, uh, I guess, tidy things up a little bit on the inside of the unit. And the power switch will be turned on on the powers. Correct, and the power switch will be turned on um, during the assembly process. We also, because of all the wires back here, um, uh, we just made this back panel of the, of the unit um, also flush with the platform here of the DVR just for easy access and then we brought out the width or the depth I should say of the back panel so that when this thing closes down all the wires are enclosed and everything works kind of like a drain. There we go. So and then there's a little cutout in the back right here for that cord uh, to then be hooked up um, on the gondola. I think that um, uh, that covers most of all the tweaks that we had discussed. All the cameras will be uh, oriented so that the red sensor is at the bottom um, and the cameras are oriented correctly. And the logo, what we're gonna do with this logo, as you can see, this logo now has a kind of a bottom platform here instead of it attaching to the back of the unit, we're gonna rest it on top of this unit um, because we have the depth to do that and we can bring this forward a little bit so that you have more impact and visibility for your logo. Um, I think that pretty much sums up all the revisions and modifications to the unit. Um, I hope I come across very nicely on camera as, as well as in person, but with <laughs> Greg, we'll talk to you tomorrow, and uh, we'll review this in more detail and get your feedback. Thanks. Bye.